Today, I want to talk about a futures grid bot, how to set one up on Bybit. I mean, most of you guys will have heard of grid bots before. They can automatically buy low and sell high inside a trading range. But there's a big difference between a spot grid bot and a futures grid bot. Today, I'll show you exactly what the difference is, how to set up a futures grid bot on Bybit and how we can use Elliott Wave analysis to define the trading range. But really the focus is on the bot, but I wanna show you how to define the range. So we'll do this with Ethereum as an example. Um, I'm going to go to my Ethereum chart. So obviously when you set up a grid bot, you need some kind of a trading range, yeah? Wh whether you use Elliott Wave, which is what we do, or you just use a very simple method of determining what is resistance, what is support, doesn't matter so much for the grid bot. But obviously here on this channel, we use a lot of Elliott Wave analysis, but it doesn't really matter which method you use to define your trading range. Um, but basically, before we talk about that, you know, different spot versus future grid bot. A spot grid bot, which I talked about a lot in previous tutorials, it's a simpler version. It's kind of, yeah, it, it's, you could say less risk. Um, it buys the actual coin at lower levels and then sells it, sells it again at higher levels, right? So for example, you have a range defined here and it, it continues to buy when the price goes lower and it will continue to sell as the price goes higher in a range, ultimately, uh, you will save a lot of time because trading a range manually takes a lot of time, is often difficult, and a lot of people lose money. But with a spot grid bot, well, there's no leverage, no liquidation risk, no short selling. It's basically an automated range trading tool. A futures grid bot, on the other hand, trades contracts with leverage potentially. It can go long or short, not just buy and sell. So it uses margin, which means liquidation is possible. And the profits and losses are amplified depending on the leverage you select. So in short, a futures grid bot gives you more flexibility, but it comes also with higher risk.